Sure, we have 30 seconds to tell you that drivers who switch to Progressive could save big. But then what? Well, there is a nice piece of stock music playing behind me that a talented composer worked really hard on. So let's enjoy it. Wow, almost overshadows the saving big when you switch to progressive part. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Reintroducing the Iced Apple Crisp Oat Milk Macchiato from Starbucks. Now with Starbucks Blonde Espresso and Oat Milk, layered with flavors of apple, cinnamon, and brown sugar, and topped with a spiced apple drizzle. Welcome back, fall. Order today with the Starbucks app. Father of mine, tell me where have hey. you been? Good morning. Good morning, Dad. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you two? I don't know. I'm not that awake. <laughs> you haven't had you haven't had your coffee yet, or what? Oh yeah, I finished just a few minutes ago. But I've been awake for I've been up for about over an hour. You should uh, have a uh, you should uh, go back to the old days and have a Iranian breakfast of tea and bread. Oh, yeah, that's what Joanne has. Yeah. Tea. Hey, I, I've been drinking tea too. I've been drinking green tea. I heard that's good for you. Yeah, that's what I hear myself. But I, I don't have a, a taste for that. You you don't drink tea at all. No. Okay. Well, I got no. you everything. Hey, I'm gonna. You're coming to see me this weekend, Dad. Did you know that? Yes, I do. How long does it take to get there? Uh, do I want to know how long would it take? From us to drive to your house. Okay. Uh, well, I guess, let me ask this. Who's driving? Liz. Liz oh, she's a lead foot. Yeah, well, she's a good driver. Um, let's see. I'm going to guess from your place. Uh, uh, let me see. Shelby Township, Michigan, right? Yeah. Okay, Shelby Township, Michigan, to my house, that is listed as two hours and 55 minutes. Are you kidding? That's what I thought. Yeah. Huh. Am, am I taking him to the hall and you getting him or, or Jimmy bringing him? Or are we coming right to your house? You know, uh, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I'm not sure, but I can yeah. call you later on today with that. Okay, because I got to work his shout out. So either I'm, I'm staying at your house or I don't know. Yeah, you're you're coming over and we're going to hang out and you and Kevin are going to have a, a foot race in the street. <laughs> oh, really? No, but it, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll eat some food. We'll uh, chit-chat. So the party is at your house, is that it? Uh, no, um, I think the girls are getting together at another location, but the boys are coming to my house. Okay. How far is the location from your house? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's just a handful of minutes. Okay. Handful of minutes, Joanne. Do you want to, um, maybe, Joanne, if there's an issue, uh, like a timing thing, you can teach uh, Jim and I to help Dad or anything? Yeah, but I, I got to make sure poor Lizzie can get us there in time so we get to the shower in time. Isn't it at 11 o'clock? Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, uh, I, I'm, I don't recall because I, I'm the last to know these things, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you're right. Boy, yeah, you're going to have to leave early. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh my well, God. Hey, that, we'll sounds, make it. that sounds terrible. You should just skip it. Yeah. <laughs> We're no, coming. No, thank oh, no, you. We're not, we're not going to skip it. Well, thank you. Um, it, oh, it, no. it is. Uh, you're going to make uh, Jackie very, very happy, and everyone's going to love seeing you. Of course. My gosh. Well, I wouldn't have missed that. Okay. Uh, maybe we, Dad, maybe we can go to the casino or something. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I would like that. Yeah? So much food. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I, I, so I, much food. So much you I don't. Oh. I don't. I don't think Sue's into casinos, Dad. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I think uh, that's that's a big no-no. I think, I think maybe uh, we should just maybe uh, talk about that off of the podcast. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Dad, I've I'm got. Not, I'm not the organizer, so yeah, I know a, a because if I if I'm understand, I think it's the religious beliefs that there, that uh, gambling's a big no no. Well, we're the same religion. Yeah, religion yeah. So I'm it's saying, I, I I I don't want to be a contributor to to uh, your delinquency, you know. No, no, we don't consider that as delinquency. This oh. is what called. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I I think I think you'd get in big trouble, man. I don't want you to get in trouble. Hey, who's going to cause me the trouble? Well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, Sue and Shannon, they all listen to you on this show. So uh, I don't want them to think that. Uh, so that 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 was just a joke. No, that's not a joke. Oh. It's a serious business, man. I am, I am not taking you to a casino. <laughs> Hey, come on. <laughs> All right, Dad, listen up. I've got some questions. Uh, Lenny writes this. Lenny. Who is this? Lenny. Uh, Lenny? Yeah, Lenny. He lives in... Uh, oh, Na- Leonard. Yeah, uh, Lenny lives in Nashville, Tennessee. He says... Okay. Hello, Lenny. He says, um, sometimes um, I watch my friend's show, and I, I find out late that he's started. And I said to my he friend... What? Well, he, he he watches a show on TV. His friend does a show yeah. similar to this one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he gets notified late, so he's always showing up late a few minutes after the show's begun. You know. And so Lenny yeah. uh, says, "I mentioned it to my friend. Hey, I I, no, I I keep getting late notification that you started the show. And uh, he says, "I mentioned it to my friend, and he gets really mad at me." What should I do? Is this guy being Mickey Mouse or should I <laughs> or should I just try and prepare to watch it better? Thanks, Meathead. Uh, honey, you got to go over this one more time to what's happening. Yeah, okay. So Lenny uh, sits down at the computer every, yeah. every day at 8 o'clock. Okay. His favorite show on the computer starts at 8 o'clock. But okay. he doesn't get a little notification from his computer until like 8.03. His computer says, hey, Lenny, it's time to watch your favorite show. And then uh, Lenny gets mad because he should have been notified right at 8 a.m. Well, watch how Lenny starts on time on his own instead of waiting for that machine to talk to him. That's a great question. I think... I think that Lenny can figure it out on his own. Yeah. It seems a big cash. It seems very simple. But I think Lenny starts every day by announcing that he was told late that the show began and everybody's getting annoyed with him. I don't blame him for getting annoyed. Of course. But why doesn't Lenny start his show on time on his own? Exactly. That's what everybody's saying. Lenny, right. get with it now. Come on. Come on, Lenny. You're passing the buck to someone yeah. else. Yeah, quit whining about everything. No, it's not that. I'm not going to say it, but somehow he doesn't know that. <laughs> so get up about uh, 12 and a half minutes earlier right. and be on the job at yeah. the 12th hour yes. and go on from there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Whatever, if, if, you know. if, if you know what time things are starting, there's no reason for you to be late. Yeah. My gosh. All right. Thank you, Lenny. Uh, John writes this. Hello, Ruben. I am going. He says, uh, I am going on a two week solo hiking trip in the Upper Peninsula. Do you have any suggestions about uh, hiking or things to see or how to stay safe or. Or, or just uh, to ensure that I have a good time. Well, just hiking is not a good time in my mind. <laughs> All you're doing is walking, right? Yeah. Okay. You're right. And it's all up to him to have enough energy to continue on hiking at the time that he's supposed to start. And keep going. Now, I don't know if he's going to go the whole distance without stopping, doing anything, resting, or I don't know what his plan is, but he's going to plan on 
uh, first of all, have enough strength to go from top, uh, area A to area B. Yeah. Without the stop, nonstop. Yeah. So basically, you're saying he's got to like uh, make sure he's got all his uh, water and food and provisions. Yes. And and and, and, and make it. What is that, Joanne? Yeah. 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 Make a plan to tell somebody where right. he's at, where he's watching. Well, like yeah. In case and he, he like, can't just keep on walking. He's got to take a break in between. Yeah, he's gonna have to rest, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure he has all of his resources. But uh, you're right. I, I, that's especially important to make sure you let people know where exactly you're gonna be. In the, Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because uh, how often do we hear about somebody getting lost out there? I mean, that's like a uh, up there. You know. I mean, you know, all kinds of things can happen. Or, or, <laughs> Wow, who? Oh, for God's sake, hope not, you know? I mean, geez. Hey, it, if you hike, hiking, you must have some wilderness area, and that's not a cool thing. All right, Dad, I wrote uh, I wrote down, uh, um, hiking is walking. <laughs> yeah. All right, got it. Uh, Dad, uh, Rodney writes this. Hi, Rodney. Rodney has a question um, looking back to different decades. And he says, Ruben, you've been in the U.S. in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and on and on and on. Do you know which of those decades was your favorite? I think I know. I think I know the answer. I would say... The first two decades yeah. was just hell. Okay, that's when you were getting used to the U.S. I was getting to learn how to talk the language, uh, the, the food that they have. Believe me, I mean, I lived on a hamburger for two years. Oh, hot dog. I, that's right. Oh, that's. I lived on hot dogs two years. Yeah, wasn't that the only? That was the only thing you, you uh, English you knew was the word hot dog. Hot dog and hamburger and, and, and apple pie. Oh wow, <laughs> you were like the hot dog guy. Yes, I was a hot dog. Period. So yeah, I can imagine that that, that uh, you had probably had some serious gastrointestinal issues. <laughs> And then the worst part of this whole thing, you brought up a big poisonous thought to my brain. It was uh, the tea the students could give a rip to who I am, what I am. I have no friends. Yeah, they're, well, people are bullies. I mean, oh, hey. You remember the story? Did I tell you a story about Percy? Oh, yeah. We all know the story about Percy, Dad. I was a strong individual, by the way. I mean, I, I don't think that anybody should have messed around with me. No, no. Percy went just a little bit too far. Yeah, he pushed you. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, he pushed you. He pushed <laughs> you mentally and physically. And to this day, I mean, Percy probably died at age twenty because of the damage. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, uh, good thing there wasn't two Percy's living around. Right, right. You had to kill them both. You had to kill them both. Oh, my God. Um, I, I wrote down that uh, I brought up a big poisonous thought to your brain. Oh, yes. So, Dad, I would... That's funny that just a few days ago, that thought occurred in my brain again. Uh, that's, All by itself. That's fantastic. Dad, I, I would say that the 1980s were probably your favorite decade because that's when you met Joanne. Oh, that was oh, that was a life life you know, giving. Your yeah, I mean like no, really. Your your heart was on fire. Oh my God, yes. And uh, uh, at first, she had her, her doubts, you know, about me. Of course, she did. I mean, you're a, you're a guy that says hiking is walking. Of course, she had doubts. 
You know, I, oh man, cut it out, man. Hey, hey, I should probably say that any decade that Joanne was in it was the best decade. So 80s, 90s, 2010s, 2020s. Yes. Sure, we have 30 seconds to tell you that drivers who switch to Progressive could save big. But then what? Well, there is a nice piece of stock music playing behind me that a talented composer worked really hard on. So let's enjoy it. Wow, almost overshadows the saving big when you switch to progressive part. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Tired of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays, they can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com. Uh in fact, I, I almost lost her at, that par- at one party that we were there. She thought, hey, I'm a two-timer or something. You yeah, know? okay. She she thought you were a dirty, low-down uh, scoundrel. Something. Something was... that was not advantageous to our relationship. Now, sometimes people in their relationships, they might, they might like take a break or break up for a short period of time. No, I didn't have any of that problem. I was so grateful for the fact that I had somebody that cared yeah. to know me. There was never that. That had never happened in all no. of the years that you two have been together. That's right. Incredible. 40-some years. Wow. 40-some years. That's, uh, those are some great years. Um, okay. Uh, Rob writes this, Dad. He's a, another person named Rob, just like you. He writes, uh, dear, dear Meathead, I'm getting married next year. Congratulations, Rob. Hey. He says uh, a lot of people that I have uh, that I have to hire are char- charging a small fee to use a credit card to pay them. So, like, let's say if he's paying a th- photographer a thousand bucks, the credit card will charge the uh, photographer will charge him three percent if he's using a credit card. And and Rob says this is very frustrating, Meathead. How should I go about negotiating with these people? Sign Rob. Rob, uh, I don't know what a photographer is going to do uh, to make it uh, really interesting for these pictures. But what's wrong with getting a friend, give him a camera, bunch of film to take pictures? Oh, so you're saying uh, just have your your uh, drunk buddy do it yeah i mean hey absolutely as so as a why, po- do, you need, why do you need to have a photographer oh my goodness. well so you're saying uh, uh the the big wedding a good way to save money instead of yeah. having hey get a buddy of yours don't be silly yeah. don't walk around with a camera in your hand yeah maybe snap pictures. maybe one of those polaroid ones you can just snap it and give it right to them right there well, that's okay, but uh, either way, you took pictures and have them developed, yeah. and then you can make all the copies you want and give it to friends or whatever, and then you save a ton of money. You, you do save a ton of money. So the idea is, as opposed to hiring a professional photographer for the greatest wedding photos ever, just get one of those disposable cameras and say, here, shoot this until it runs out, and then I'll pay for your first beer. But- it don't need to be disposable either. Oh. Just take uh, take a camera and take these pictures and take the camera to a photographer, to the people that develop them. Okay, what yeah. You well, yeah. Use you can, your phone. Use your phone too, but then, but the phone might be expensive. You might just want to buy a garbage camera. 
Yeah. No, yeah. but then just the inexpensive camera. Uh huh. Take all the pictures you want. My God, this this is crazy. Yeah. I would have done that. You could use that money for like uh, you know to to buy a, a, a snowblower or whatever. Or, uh, or, or a bunch of booze. Save it. You could save the money. Could save the money. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Joe, tell them bring your own food. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a, that's a, just kidding around. You right, know, right. But, of course. Oh, really? Of course. Uh, Adam writes this, Dad. Dear me, Dad. I am. Hi, Adam. He says I am not a handyman, but I I would like to be a handyman. I want to get better. My wife doesn't want me to work on anything because I might mess it up. And how can I get better at things if I don't try? Signed, Adam. Well, Adam, that, that is a good analogy. If you don't try it, you're never going to learn. Now, I don't know what things that you do that is so intricate. Well, I mean, maybe he's thinking about uh, uh, whatever, putting in a new toilet or, uh, you know, maybe some new cabinets. I would say the second would be a better idea. <laughs> the toilet business is uh, for the toilet man. Toilet business. Hold on. I'm going to write this down. Toilet business is for the toilet man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, other things, you should get involved. I knew nothing about building. I build this whole house up. And you put a toilet. I even put a toilet in here. You did, but you're not a toilet man. I know, but I had to take a chance. All right. Okay. So, yeah, you just got to figure it out, and I don't know. If you want to do a thing, you do it the cheap and we are, you know, save money, get involved in doing the thing that you want to do. So you'll screw it up. But do it, and then you correct it, or you ask somebody else what to do it. And yes. then now you learn how to do that forever and ever and ever. Fair enough. Um, this lovely lady named Stevie has a question. What is her name? Stevie. You've actually met Stevie before. Um, and uh, okay. yeah, when, when you when you visited over here for a party, uh, she was over here and she uh, she got a picture with you and she she writes, "Hello, Ruben." Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. She has like very very brightly colored hair. Yes, I don't remember the hair, but uh, I, I do remember the person that I that you're talking about. Oh, I she, met her. She knew, you know, I know Stevie, and she's gonna love that you remember her. So she uh, yes, has. I did. She has a question, and she says she, uh, she was very loving. Mm-hmm. That is that is true. And uh, she writes, "Hello, Ruben. My friend is is getting married in a few weeks. My friend's relatives, direct relatives, live about as far away as you away." So 200 miles, but they said they're not coming. My friend has asked them why not, but they have not answered. My friend is very upset about this. What do you think about families that behave this way? Well, you really got to take your time to think why they're not coming. Now, maybe there's a difficult task for them to get from uh, the zero area to your place. So you got to find out exactly what the reason is, and uh, not in the way of uh, being a British. Hey, how come you're not coming? You know, no. So, hey, uh, do you think you can tell me why you're not coming? Uh-huh. Uh huh. If something we can help you, we can send somebody to pick you up or something. Yeah, you know. Help, help it out. You know. You know the one thing that you got to learn in life, not to be abrasive. Uh, personality wise yeah I've heard that that can uh, that can backfire a time or two well, <laughs> or three or yeah, four uh, you know but five yes, or six uh, listen uh, something we can do to can we have somebody pick you up and bring you here and take you back or something okay. anything that's comfortable I don't know you know that is I, I wrote it down don't be abrasive that is that is fantastic uh, advice ask a question with love. I also wrote down, uh, instead of uh, saying, um, are you having a hard time getting here? You should say, difficult task to get from zero area to your place. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a difficult task, and it's 
than I be able to get. Well, maybe uh, you should send a buddy of yours to pick him up and bring him there. Yeah. Brian. Anything. Uh, yeah, but, but find out what's their problem. Now, they may not want to tell you what their problem is. Then if they're not going to do that, well. There's not nothing you can nothing. do. There's so nothing you can do. On. Yep. Hang up yeah. on them. Say, all right, I'm moving on. Yeah. Uh, Brian says, dear Meathead and dear Joanne, is there a state, uh, he says, I know you love Michigan, but is there another state that you love? San Diego. Well, San Diego is a beautiful place. So uh, San Diego, California. Yes. That is, you know, it's so nice there all year round, a terrific weather. I mean, it's really. I, and I like the ocean side and so forth. You so know? is that, when you visit um uh, uh, my stepsister Joanne's daughter Nikki, your step, uh, your stepdaughter. Um, yeah. Are you able to go out like to the ocean and see the uh, and s- hang out on the sand and and put your feet in the water? I think yeah, Joanne did, but unfortunately, there were the area that had this uh, black rocks, so she wasn't. Oh, that was Hawaii. Oh, that was oh, that was in Hawaii. <laughs> that was in Hawaii. You went to Hawaii too. I didn't. She did. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Joanne's daughter has uh, tons of cash. She's got like a house in San Diego and a house in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. 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 She, yeah. She's bloody rich. <laughs> she, she, she sure is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so you like visiting uh, California. I, I, I do too. It's really, you know what? It's really uh, just spectacular. That's, um, uh, the uh, uh, climate is just absolutely perfect, frankly. Well, yeah, it is a great thing, but I don't make a habit of going out there that much. I don't know, you know? if I'd want to live uh, there. I don't know if I'd... Once or twice, you know, it's okay. Yeah, I you think know? I'd like to visit there, but I, I, I like my home too much in Michigan, you know? Definitely, definitely. I don't want to leave my home. No, nah, I mean, just, seriously. Unless it's a terrible place, I mean, um, I, 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 there, there's no way I'd ever want to leave a place that I love. Oh, I got a, I got an acre of land in here. Oh my God! Yeah. Um. Hey, uh, Mike writes this. Uh, dear Meathead and Joanne. First off, one of my favorite things that I experience every single week is hearing uh, Joanne and your dad. He, that, oh, that's, that's what he wrote. awesome. What, that's awesome. What a wonderful, yeah, such a wonderful guy. What a nice thing to say. And then he's, yes. and then he has a very specific question. You know, like, uh, have you ever heard of like a crown molding, like in a yes. in a living room? Yeah. He says, "I'm struggling with that. Do you have any tips that can make my life easier?" Oh boy. He says it's difficult for me. He says he's not an expert like you are, and he, uh, but doing it himself would help him save money. But I don't want to mess up with too many like cuts and then screw up the wood and have to start over. Well, the, the best thing that I can suggest, since, since you are that new at that, uh, hopefully look around and see if you can find a friend that does woodworking and so forth or build his own and pick their brain, you know? Yeah, maybe buy him a case of beer and have him do it. Well, whatever you do. But then again, it, that, that's a good thing. Don't tackle that all by yourself. Uh, without the knowledge, get somebody to tell you what to do. You know, yeah, um, uh, you're having difficulty finding Joanne's, somebody that knows about building and all that. Joanne says he's trying to. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, if I don't know any detail to give him any uh, advice to what direction to take. Oh, wow. Well, he's he's so you're saying that he's maybe stumped you on this one. I about, well, no, not not really. If I saw the situation, well, I would have. I think uh, that it, it's you know. interesting. It's interesting. We're to a point in the show where you know people are asking you for advice, and your and your advice is ask somebody who knows. <laughs> well, no, this particular thing I'm not too familiar with. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, so, no, I I I totally get it. <laughs> You should crack the uh, Joanna up. Yes. I don't know what the hell is so funny about that. <laughs> she, uh, she loves that. She's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> now, Dad, um, Dad, have you ever heard of uh, YouTube videos? Uh, 
Yeah. On your phone, you can look at a video and it tell you. So I think that Mike, if you uh, if you search that out, there'll be plenty of tutorials on there that can help you. Uh, that would yes, that, that's, yes. That's what I think you should start with. Do I don't that. know how to get on it, but well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he does. He'll yeah. he'll probably be able to figure it out. Joanne says she knows how to get on it. Um. All right, Dad. You know we've uh, covered a lot of ground here, including uh, hiking is walking. Um. Brought. <laughs> Uh, brought up a big poisonous thought to my brain. Uh, toilet business is for the toilet men. There you go. Don't be abrasive. That was a good one. And typical task to get from zero area to your place. Yes. And we're not. And we're not going to the casino. Well, no, that's something no, no. else. Uh, I, I can't. Oh, uh, hey, I got, a, I got a million places I can take you, but we're not going to the casino. <laughs> oh, man. You you just got a lot of fun. Yeah, I know it. All right, Dan. Well, I love you guys. I love you too, honey. Okay. Uh, hello to the rest of the family. Yeah, yes, sir. And we'll see you very shortly. See you very shortly. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. See ya. Thanks for your time. As always. Bye bye. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Sure, we have 30 seconds to tell you that drivers who switch to Progressive could save big. But then what? Well, there is a nice piece of stock music playing behind me that a talented composer worked really hard on. So let's enjoy it. almost overshadows the saving big when you switch to progressive part progressive casualty insurance company and affiliates when the leaves start rustling the pumpkins start plumping and the scarecrows start crowing you heed the call of fall because you eat sleep and drink pumpkin at duncan so take your pick of pumpkin with delicious muffins munchkins and donuts and pair them with a classic pumpkin spice signature latte or the ultra smooth pumpkin cream cold brew Topped with pumpkin cream cold foam. Also, you can fall harder. America runs on Duncan. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. Terms apply.